Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I would tell you guys my current top five grab and go bags. If you guys have been following me for a little bit, I do say this term a lot. <laughs> so my definition of a grab and go bag is basic. Literally what that is, is that I don't have to think about, oh, do I need to change my wallet? Oh, do I need to do this? Da -da 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 -da. Like I physically can just grab it and then leave my room. Whereas there are certain bags that I actually have to be methodical. Like, okay, wait, I need to change out my card holder. Oh, no i can't bring hand sani etc etc i also have three bags that i wouldn't say they're the worst but we're just going to use that extreme term as of right now these three bags are really just i'll look at it and i'll like Ugh. I know we got to pick something else especially like we're in a rush if I'm already like 15 minutes late and I'm just like ah, I gotta pick something so if you guys are interested to see what my top five grab-and-go bags currently are then just keep watching so the first bag that I'm gonna be talking about is my bought chapeau soupel so if you guys haven't seen what it is this is basically the softer version of their normal like really hard and expensive bought chapeau which is like I think like five thousand dollars and apparently you can't fit a phone that already just like checks it off but this is it so this is the front this is the back it has a little pocket here if anyone's curious my phone does fit but i never ever put my phone in here but if you guys are curious that's what it looks like i've had this bag for at least three years my mom got it for me for one of my birthdays i don't remember which one i think the main reason why this is a grab and go bag for me is one the vachetta is already like a really decent color and on top of that too there's so much space in here like so much space there's a little pocket right over here as well i actually just used this a couple days ago and i just emptied it out recently one thing that i would like to mention if you guys are thinking about getting this bag if I could go back in time, I would get the PM size. However, when my mom bought this for me, they didn't have the PM available. They only had the Bois Chapeau Supel. It wasn't even Bois Chapeau Supel MM. Whereas now, because they have the smaller size, this is now considered the MM size. The only downside is that the PM size doesn't have this tag. And to be honest, this tag is really what cinched it for me if you guys see the tag is like 3d do you see how like it's kind of on the thicker side i don't know there's just something about this tag that i just really really like the aesthetics of it i don't understand why they don't put like this tag in a mini version on the pm size i feel like that would just really take it over the edge but i love wearing this and these straps are adjustable so if you are a certain height like taller or shorter i have it on the shortest length my only thing is when you do adjust it and put it here then it starts sticking out on the sides and that's just one thing that i'm just like ugh. and another small thing is i know that the reason for the perforated straps is because it's adjustable obviously and this can be turned into a backpack if you really want to take it a step further i have done it before but it's just too much work for me it's just visually i wish there was only the perforation on the bottom and then the rest of the straps was solid but that's just something really small so this is my first one. the second grab and go bag that i do own is definitely my chanel urban spirit backpack i use this bag so much like so so much and i think the main reason is because i'm able to top handle it putting it on my wrist like it literally can go all the way down really changes the game in terms of practicality because for example the palm springs mini there's no way you can put that in your wrist i also have the spurone bb can put that in your wrist that one's like this little thing whereas this one i'm able to this obviously does have a mona lisa pocket on the back right now mine is stuffed but i actually did use this i think maybe two weeks ago i did use this but mine is currently stuffed and i do have a smorga because one thing about the urban spirit backpacks if you guys aren't aware is that it does tend to crease right here if you guys ever look it up on like fashion file or rebag the urban spirit backpack you can actually get for a pretty good price when i got this i bought this inside of a chanel boutique at neiman marcus i remember I just went into Neiman Marcus randomly and I saw it because I was coveting this bag for literally years. Like what people coveted their classic flap because I actually wasn't into the classic flap when I was younger. Like in college, I, it's not that I didn't like the classic flap. I just literally didn't care about it, which I'm so stupid now because it's so expensive. But the Urban Spirit was the number one and I mean the number one Chanel bag that I wanted, period that's it the reason why my mom got me the business infinity backpack was because 
this is a seasonal piece and they didn't have that available so when i finally was able to find this i was like i need to have it they do have this bag available in different sizes i think the most popular size is for sure their medium size i believe they have three sizes so this is the mini and then they have just their regular one and then they have the bigger one but i see everyone have the medium size i love this bag so much i use it so much and it's like black and gold i'm pretty sure this is calf skin to be honest i'm not 100 percent sure but like I said, you can even see right here, it's already starting to crease a little bit, but that kind of just comes with the territory of this leather. Can you guys see it right here? I honestly don't mind the creasing. You know what's really funny really quick is that I went to South Coast the other day and I was literally just like walking straight with my backpack on. I wore this and no joke, the lady in front of me, she was a mom, she had a baby carriage and she had the exact backpack. I mean, the same size, the same style, everything. And we were literally, at one point, we were literally like walking next to each other. I was like, I wish somebody could take a picture of us from behind. That would have been so, so cute but yeah so my next grab and go bag is my most recent bag and it's the bag that i'm currently using right now and it is my flamenco in the rosemary color i attached my little lueve fox ironically this one is still sold out on the website which i find very interesting i know that the chow chow is super popular they just recently added a koala if i didn't have this fox honest to god i would buy the koala one if you guys just know me i love sleeping sleeping is one of my favorite things in the entire world i don't have the funds right now to buy another animal charm however because i'm trying to save up for europe my only thing is i wish for the price of these you can customize what color like i wish you just pay for basically the felt and then the little cube and then you can choose whatever color you want so it can match with any bag because this being white really doesn't match with a lot so maybe eventually if i get a white louis bag then i can move it so this is the best grab and go bag purely because it's literally like i have so much stuff now it's so funny i go through phases where i'll only have lip balm card holder phone car keys that's it and then right now i'm in my i'm packing everything to be completely available era and i definitely do have a what's in my bag video planned so a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a what's in my bag especially featuring this and it is coming up so don't worry i love everything about this you guys know if you guys haven't seen my unboxing i'll link it down below but it's just so easy to use it's so comfortable the leather is just Ugh. i think especially because it's like the magnetic closure i really don't have to fuss to be like oh i need to zip this to make sure that nothing's falling out that nothing's being pressured like it's just so comfortable and slouchy and then you can also just squeeze it this way as well so it can just be like a little this or the proper way if you guys didn't know is to pull the strings from the inside of the bag so instead of those two nub nubbits and then you pull it like this so like but yes so nine times out of ten i just use this like slightly close like this and then i just focus on the magnetic closure this is my current everyday bag it's just it's so easy to use literally i can take this to the grocery store and i don't have to worry about anything it's been raining recently i mean i'm not like holding it out in the rain but it got sprinkled on and i have like no water residue marks as well so i love that i love it i love it and it still smells new i love it here we have the regular fendi baguette bag in the napa leather in the beige color weirdly enough this one is also sold out i've talked about this bag so many times you could literally wear it as a clutch a top handle kind of a shoulder bag depending on the width of your arm and also crossbody. i really have nothing but good things to say about this so you can fit so much if you don't want to pay the chanel price i feel like this is a really good alternative to the chanel classic flap i just love that all the straps are detachable and it's just so easy to use it's super hard wearing i really kind of just throw this bag around to be honest i squidge it underneath my arm and this bag doesn't have any creases the corner wear is non-existent at least for right now and it's just an all-around great bag and the last grab and go bag that i have should come to no surprise i definitely feel like this one is my favorite bag Ever. I just uh, I use this all the time all the time all the time all the time you don't even understand and it is of course my Celine Ava bag a lot of you guys have this bag a lot of you guys are on the fence of getting this some of you guys have it in the leather if you guys were thinking of getting it what would you guys rank their leather version their white canvas and then their brown canvas I love this bag so much that I eventually want to get another one of these I know it's pointless in terms of 
purpose wise like why do i need a double of this but it's like this bag is so good i think if i were to get a double i definitely would get a leather one but it's just so unfortunate because all of their leather ones now are basically the new style where it has the adjustment i don't know it's just the price point of the new one is uh, it's frustrating but i do like that it the strap is adjustable if you guys didn't know for the new one this is just so comfortable to just chuck on right over here like there's so much space right here like do you guys see that there's literally so much space and i just love it so much when it was raining i actually use this a lot so right now i do have this stuffed but i you guys know i've talked about this bag so many times i know jenny from blackpink lisa from blackpink they both love and adore this bag it's just so easy to use i feel like it's very unassuming like it's very very low-key for a lot of people don't know what triumph canvas looks like a lot of people know what lv monogram looks like but triumph canvas is still i feel like kind of under the radar especially people that aren't into luxury and it does say celine on the top if anyone was wondering right over there can't say anything else about this i just love this so much especially because the leather is treated so if you live in a climate where it's like raining or your hands get really sweaty you honestly don't even have to worry about this getting dirty because it's already treated and it's essentially kind of like water resistant as well so it's great like this is the quintessential of a grab and go bag this even fits a water bottle let me show you so i have a little starbucks water cup it's so cute it's from the japanese sakura collection you see that? You see that? You see that? I literally have an entire water bottle in here and I still even have room to put my phone and a card holder. Maybe not a fat compact wallet, but a card holder for sure. So that's great. Okay, so now I'm going to tell you guys my three worst grab and go bags. So the first one is actually going to be my Celine Mini 16 bag. I only say this because right now I'm in my I bring everything era and this cannot hold as much as I would like it to. This does hold a good amount. Don't get me wrong. It truly, truly does. Do you see this accordion style like opening? Like this fits a good amount. But like I said, I'm carrying a lot right now and then this just doesn't cut the mustard if i'm just running to the supermarket and all i need is literally my wallet and my phone i wouldn't even need a lip balm yes grab and go before me right now this isn't the best grab and go bag it does match with everything so if in terms of style it'd be a good grab and go bag but when i say grab and go to me it's like practical thinking right like what wallet do i have on hand right now can i chuck it in this actually does fit my compact wallet but for example if you have a long wallet obviously this wouldn't fit in here but yes unfortunate but i do love love this bag okay don't question that okay so the next one i feel like a lot of people disagree with me because i'm on a lot of handbag reddit forums just to see like what people say and this bag a lot of people actually use as their everyday bag but for me this could be an everyday bag if i already have a set card holder for the week or a set like i'm not bringing that much so let me show you it's gonna come to a big big surprise okay it is my lueve mini puzzle bag and don't get me wrong i love this bag to pieces like just look how cute it is i feel like recently they came out with this color because i think this is called warm desert and then they had like basically a reverse uno of this where it's like this bit was white and then the bottom was tan i'm gonna look it up but it's super super cute so if you weren't able to get this color they do have an alternative like ready to go the reason why this is not a grab and go bag is purely because of the opening of this for example if i had my dior compact wallet and i chuck this in here then it's kind of like okay what else can i really fit in here like i can't just throw in everything like i can't fit a pouch in here i mean i could theoretically but it's just gonna take up too much space like i feel like that's seriously just such a waste of space for me personally it's like there are so many instances where i'm about to go hang out with my friends and i'm like okay what bag should i bring and i want to bring this like i truly truly do and then i realize this doesn't carry the world however just a side little note is if you guys are debating between the mini and the small and a lot of you guys are i honestly would recommend getting the small size not the mini size like the mini one is so cute the dimensions are so adorable i was on this fashion blog i think it was like bizarre or something and then they were just taking pictures of random people at paris fashion week and a lot of people actually had the mini Louisville puzzle bag and theirs all had that slouch so the signature Louisville puzzle slouch is the more you have built in here like the weight of that kind of makes this slouch right here and i 
love that like that is the signature Lueve puzzle if you have the bigger sizes you can clearly see it but mine isn't filled right now so obviously it doesn't have that slouch karen britchick's orange Lueve puzzle bag is so worn in and i actually love that me trying to break this in because i want it to be more slouchy is that crazy i think that's crazy but there's just something about it that i love the slouch another thing to note is that the mini version does not have the zipper in the back whereas the regular one does and i feel like a lot of people love that that has the zipper in the back it would have been so cute if they added like a mini zipper pocket like even just for aesthetic i think that would have been really cute you could have like kept cash or like driver's license or something like that so my main issue why this isn't a grab and go is purely because of the opening i have to really think about okay what am i going to bring today i have to be really minimalistic it's not that this can't fit a lot it's just to like chuck in and out for me this is not a grab and go bag but i do know a lot of you guys that this is your everyday bag and i love that for you okay guys so my this one i'm gonna say it is the worst it is actually the worst grab and go bag i'm not saying that i dislike this bag i love this bag i think this bag is super cute but i would never ever ever be like okay we're gonna go somewhere let me just grab this bag no okay and let me show you ready can any of you guys guess what this is it is not the bottega cassette bag it is not okay ready it is the gucci dionysus because this is the mini size and if you guys have watched my review video i say that you guys should definitely size up okay wait my bad so this is not the mini this is the super mini and by super mini it really means super mini this can barely hold anything and i'm not even mad that this barely holds anything because my bottega cassette bag barely holds anything but i really truly think it's the width of this it's just so small like what is this maybe like an inch and a half if i'm stretching it but like honestly just regular it's about an inch like it's very very narrow and that's just what makes it so complicated the moment first of all i can't grab and go this because i have to think about okay what wallet do i have on hand right now almost none of them fit in here other than my bottega veneta card holder and my flat dior card holder so in general i either go no wallet and just chuck my driver's license and my credit cards in here or i have to change my card holder which is why on a side note i'm thinking of getting the louis vuitton card holder just to have purely for my mini bags what do you guys think should i buy it or is it a waste of money i don't know i don't know i don't know there are so many instances where i want to bring this back where i'm looking at my shelf and i'm like i want to bring my gucci dionysus and i was like psych this is too small for what i need it to be especially if i'm driving and i need my car keys <gasps> oh no i just carry too much in this moment in time where this is not a grab and go bag definitely i think if you have the bigger sizes this will for sure be a grab and go especially the walk or just the size above this for sure grab and go this is just but look how cute it is Ugh. it's not a grab and go but one thing though that i would like to note i actually do not wear this crossbody anymore truly i do not it's just the length of this chain is way too long for me because i'm 5'3 however the way that i wear this is i double it up so anytime i wear this now i wear it like this i use it as a shoulder bag instead of a crossbody because when i use this crossbody it literally goes below my hip bone and it's just kind of an awkward place to be i prefer to use this as a shoulder bag but it's so cute still like this is my go-to like going out bag when i'm not driving and somebody else is driving or we're ubering because if i just take away my car keys in and of itself i already have like way more space the only unfortunate thing is that if my phone is inside of here nothing else is in this bag and i feel like that's another no for me when it's a grab and go is if my phone can't go in here where to me like mentally a grab and go is like let me throw everything i need in the moment in this bag and not have to think about it this is not one of those things the moment i chuck my phone in here i have no space for anything else like literally no space for anything else but yes alrighty guys so we have come to the end of today's video thank you so much for watching did any of you guys guess what was going to be on my worst i feel like this should have been a given but i feel like this was really the surprise of right now but again like i said it's not worst it's just in the moment this isn't a grab and go bag for me come on it's like if you have a tote bag how easy is it to just chuck your entire life into this i could chuck what maybe like four water bottles in here if i really wanted to some of you guys gave me the idea love you for the ideas of doing kind of like a series of maybe like my top five favorite tote bag my top five favorite crossbody bags my top five favorite top handle bags etc etc what do you guys think is that boring i feel like it's just kind of we all love luxury bags so we all know what we kind of like already so let me know down in the comments if you would find 
that useful. If you need a little affirmation of what you currently have in your collection and you want someone to be like, yeah, that bag is great. You're like, oh wait, I have that bag too. I'm gonna use it. Cause I honestly watch a lot of YouTube videos for like inspo where I'm not really feeling a bag anymore. And then I see somebody rave about it. And I'm like, you know what? You're right. I really do like this. So as always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. It really helps for my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.